Hello, my dear doctor. I'd like to talk on a very important topic. That is a multifocal motor neuropathy with conduction block. Yes, follow me. What is written on your notes? Multifocal motor neuropathy (MMN) CB means a conduction block is an immune mediated disorder. Circle the immune mediated. Commonly associated with the NTGM1 antibodies. Circle the NTGM1 antibodies. Typically presenting with asymmetrical, circle the asymmetric bibrachial motor weakness, circle the bibrachial without sensory or bulbar involvement, circle without sensory or without bulbar. Allowing the key distinction from the motor neuron disease, circle the MND. Multifocal motor neuropathy with conduction was an acquired immune mediated disorder demyelinating neuropathy features of MMNCB may resemble very close to the motor neuron disease but in contrast multifocal motor neuropathy may respond well to intravenous immunoglobulin circle the immunoglobulin MMNCB is not responsive to steroids or plasma exchange circle not responsive to steroids or plasma exchange Unlike chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, which typically involves the sensory nerves too. Cyclophosphamide may sometimes to have some of the efficacy, but it's generally not used in MMNCB due to its toxicity profile. So once again, I'd like to talk more a little bit. This condition uh, presents with asymmetrical muscle weakness, which is slowly progressive and without sensory signs. The differential weakness of the finger extension is typical presentation. So differential weakness of the finger extension, circle the finger extension is a typical presentation, circle finger extension. And reflects a pathological process which selectively affects particular motor fibers within a peripheral nerves. As for example, the posterior interosseous branch of radial nerve can be affected. Weakness without wasting, circle without wasting, circle weakness is another typical feature. Nerve conduction studies show areas of conduction block outside the usual areas of compression. Intravenous immunoglobulin can produce a rapid improvement in weakness, circle immunoglobulins. The nerve conduction studies of multifocal motor neuropathy patients will show that multiple multifocal areas of demyelination, the word itself says the demyelinations with motor block, yes, the conduction block with, the, with F waves and H reflexes of late motor responses to electrical stimuli. Yes, this is the suggestive of multifocal motor neuropathy with conduction block. So once again, uh, the features will be the multifocal areas of demolition of the motor block with F waves and H reflexes, suggestive of late motor responses to electrical stimuli. MMN may sometimes mimic motor neuron disease, both features, weakness, wasting, and fasciculation, and relatively preserved reflexes and normal sensation. However, certain features suggest one diagnosis over the other. For example, bulbar weakness is common in MND, but rare in MMN. Depending on the form of MND, variable upper motor neuron signs may occur, contrary to MMN, which is a purely lower motor nerve conduction occurring in a distribution correlating with the named peripheral nerves. Finally, whereas the motor neuron disease is usually fatal within five years and multifocal motor neuropathy is slowly progressive over the decades, does not typically cause respiratory failure. Another important differential diagnosis of the multifocal motor neuropathy is chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy like the CIDP typically causes a progressive chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy so there will be a sensory and motor neuropathy with loss of reflexes.
circle loss of reflexes. CSF protein is elevated circle elevation and nerve conduction studies show evidence of demyelination. Inclusion body myositis, another differential diagnosis, it characteristically causes the weakness of the finger flexion, circular finger flexion. In contrast, you see the weakness of the finger extension in multifocal muscle neuropathy, as well as the knee extension and ankle dorsiflexion. So finger flexion, knee extension, and ankle dorsiflexion. Affected muscles are wasted and fasciculations do not occur as there is no denervation. So, my dear doctor, I'd like to give some of the important boxes of multifocal motor neuropathy. Just follow me onto the board. The most important box that I'd like to give, that is multifocal motor neuropathy, the word, it will be helpful, I'm a man, it will be helpful to remember, you see, the way I'm writing. Just write down. I double N the way right immunoglobulin means the IV immunoglobulin is the treatment of choice of multifocal motor neuropathy. What I said my dad is very important. Multifocal motor neuropathy is nothing but the MMN. Yes. Next box that I'd like to give, this is very important. The features of multifocal motor neuropathy, MMN with conduction blocks. So I'd like to write down multifocal motor neuropathy. So the word itself, M for multifocal motor neuropathy. So this is the multifocal. Yes, the multifocal motor neuropathy is typically present with the asymmetrical word. So very important that we need to remember the single word, these are asymmetrical, you see. The way I'm writing my dear, just write it down the asymmetrical. Motor, M stands on the motor. Yes, the motor neuropathy. So, it includes bibrachial motor neuropathy and typically involves the finger extension, finger extension. Finger extension. So once again, finger extension and N for neuropathy. One of the important features that we always talk of the lower motor neuron lesions having the WWF means the weakness having wasting and fasciculations. And these patients may not have the wasting. So the weakness and fasciculations is one of the important features. With the conduction block. And this conduction block is a typical features of demyelinating in nerve conduction study, NCS, that shows that the multifocal areas of demyelination and motor block, so of course the demyelination with the motor block, with the block, plus F waves, plus the H reflexes
नेक्स्ट टॉक आई एड लाइक टू गिव वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉक द डिफरेंशियटिंग फीचर्स ऑफ मल्टीपोकल मोटो न्यूरोपैथी with motor neuron disease the differentiating features because both of these diseases can present with the weakness wasting and fasciculations weakness wasting and fasciculations yes so how to differentiate in between these two this is very important one of the important features that the motor neuron disease having the bulbar involvement but here multifocal motor neuropathy will never have the bulbar involvement number 2 multifocal motor neuropathy usually involve the lower motor nerves only upper motor nerves absolutely absent in contrast in motor neuron disease that as we learned mixed variety of and very typically upper motor plus lower motor neuron lesions both are present the slowly progressive number 3 multifocal motor neuro path is a slowly progressive disorder and they are at least more than 10 years but this is a very fatal disease like the motor neuron disease is a fatal disease only within 5 years so very important box my dear doctor i'd like to give a box So yes this is a very important box next differential diagnosis that i'd like to write it down another differential diagnosis another differential diagnosis if i'm writing the number 1 is an mnd and number 2 differential diagnosis that the cidp chronic inflammatory polyneuropathy having once again the progressive the most important points that we need to remember both sensory plus motor neuropathy and of course the reflexes will be lost in contrast if i am writing the multifocal motor neuropathy this is also progressive disorder but the sensory is absent in contrast the reflexes is intact reflexes is intact yes my dear doctor cidp and uh, once again csf protein will be elevated in contrast it will be normal here and along with the nerve conduction studies ncs will have the demyelination and once again the demyelination so this is the differential points here number 3 that the inclusion body myositis inclusion body myositis characteristically weakness of finger flexion finger flexion in contrast this is finger extension finger flexion finger extension and also here is a knee extension plus 
knee extension plus ankle dorsiflexion so this is a typical variety of weakness in contrast the multifocal motor neuropathy there will be wasted and weakness but in contrast there will be wasting weakness and fasciculation but not wasted as well so plus minus i'd like to talk on inclusion body mouse id just follow me in your notes cause of myopathy associated the cytoplasmic inclusions on muscle biopsy so circle the inclusions on the muscle biopsy typically affects the older males and can affect the both proximal and distal muscles and characteristically affects the quadriceps finger wrist flexors usually more severely affected than the extensor counterparts so yes this is very important inclusion body mouse it is and one of the important talk that is the fasciculations will not be happen in the inclusion body mouse it is because this inclusion body mouse it is only the muscles but in contrast is a nerve function so yes there will be of course the wwf fasciculations will be there and very importantly i would like to add here that is the conduction block this multifocal motor neuropathy the one of the most important things that we need to remember they have the positive antibodies anti gm1 antibodies m1 antibodies is another box i'd like to talk on now a further talk so that would be helpful right so my dear starting with the first box of multifocal motor neuropathy mmn mm for immunoglobulins iv immunoglobulins is the treatment of choice just remember so iv immunoglobulins right next talk there is box mmn with conduction block once again m for another m that we need to remember that is m1 antibody is positive so m for multifocal m for matricial means the asymmetrical so that will be also helpful next talk m for motor neuropathy motor is a finger extension having typically the wwf and for once again the ncs is a demyelination and conduction block is block conduction the demyelination and block means the block along with the f waves and h reflexes so multifocal matricial motor of course the finger flexions typically having the wwf weakness wasting and fasciculation less likely to have some of the wasting but there will be weakness and fasciculations next talk is the end for ncs means the nerve conduction study will have gives the demyelination because the conduction the demyelination block means block so demyelination block these two important features along with the f h reflexes my dear next number 3 box is really important one of the important talk my dear very importantly that we need to remember the fasciculations in your scenarios my dear listen very the most important diagnosis is the motor neuron disease if i'm writing this is one motor neuron disease the next diagnosis is the multifocal motor neuropathy with conduction block so 2m if i'm writing a separate a uh, small box here only the fasciculations yes so i have write the f waves here so fasciculations the diagnosis m and d and multifocal motor neuropathy with conduction block these two diagnoses that we need to remember 
So the differentiating features, of course, the bulbar is absent. Here is present lower motor mix, M4 mixed, but in case of multiple, only the lower motors, and the most important, the more than 10 years, in contrast, only fatal within five years. So this is the differentiating features with the MMN, with the MND, and of course the MMN will have the typical features of multifocal motor conduction block, means the demolish the conduction block along with the, yes, the F waves and H reflexes. Number four box, yes, having the next differential diagnosis. The first differential diagnosis that we put the M and D, next is the CIDP, yes. Chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy. How to differentiate? One of the important points is the sensory. But in contrast, the multifocal motor neuropathy having only motor features. Reflexes, yes, the reflexes is lost, but in contrast, intact. Another very important, that is the CSF. C for CSF findings. So, protein will be increased. So, CIDP, the two important words that I'm talking about, the sensory and CSF. Just say with CIDP, sensory and CSF. Sensory, CSF, sensory, CSF. Number three. The IBM or inclusion body mouse is typically the finger flexion, the single word, the flexion. In contrast, the motor neuropathy is an extension. And they will have the muscle biopsy findings will have the inclusion. That's it. That will never be found, of course, in case of I'm a man. So there will be knee extension, there will be an ankle dorsiflexion weakness. So muscle, typical muscle weakness, these are very important. Inclusion body myositis, finger flexion. So they will have the distal and both proximal muscle weakness. But here is the finger extension. There will be the wasting and weakness, but there will be no fasciculations. Absent. In contrast, there will be WWF, mean the wasting weakness, weakness, wasting, and fasciculation. Wasting sometimes absent, but weakness and fasciculation, fasciculation is my day, I said it. So somebody talk for the first box. That is for summary box, right? Along with I would like to hear, see for another talk that the corticosteroid responsive. In contrast, yes, this is not responsive. So I'd like to talk now first box is the MMN is an immunoglobulin. Immunoglobulin, yes, is a treatment of choice, the single talk. Second MMN is nothing but the M1 antibody, second talk. Third talk here, there is the asymmetrical finger extension and F webs. Asymmetrical, metrical finger extension, yes, you see the M extension. Demyelination, F webs. Fourth talk, yes, fasciculations will have the two important differential diagnosis. Fifth talk, right, the CIDP having the sensory and CSF protein high. And last is important, right, the corticosteroid responsive. In contrast, IBM is the single talk, is the finger flexion. So once again, what I'm saying, first box, MMN is a monoglobulin. MMN is an M1 antibody. MMN needs to matrical, means the symmetry, asymmetrical. Finger extension, asymmetrical extension F webs. Asymmetrical extension F webs. Asymmetrical extension F webs. And MMN from the motor neuron disease, the mixed, motor is a mixed upper and lower motor neuron. Mixed, just remember. CIDP and also the MMN CIDP, the three important words that, yes, once again, what I say is the sensory plus motor. CSF protein is high and corticosteroid is massive. IBM inclusion body mouse is the finger flexion, my dear.
we need to remember. I hope that my day will enjoy. Thank you. Thank you very much.